The history of the bicycle is a funny story. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about where it all kicked off, man. Yes, we've got that and all the regular action <gasps> on, on the, the Dirt Check Show! show! Yes, welcome to this week's Dirt Shed Show with me, Martin Ashton, and him. Blake Sampson, Martin. Bangers, how are I'm you? I'm very good, thank you very much, Martin. It's so good to be back mm. in the show. Yeah, it's great to have you back. And mate, you've back at the perfect week because you're going to be key to us telling the story of the bicycle. Yeah. How did we get from the very beginnings to, well... All of this. Well, exactly, Mike. So, do you know what? I'm going to dive into it. I've always wanted to recreate the bicycle. So, I'm going to get my hands dirty, get my wood skills on, and see if I can. Oh, man, that's all coming up. But before we get into it, let's go straight to the news. Yes, welcome to the news, and let's start with that final EWS round in Finale Ligure. It was an absolute smasher. Amazing, great trails there, of course. Maybe the home of Enduro, really. Uh, and it was a fantastic win for Jesse Melamed, making it his third EWS race win in his career and proving that the consistency is coming and he is definitely going to be a man to look out for for the title in 2021. We've got a proper full season, fingers crossed. Um, in the women's, Morgan Shah took the win. Uh, she dominated the female field and it was fantastic racing from her. And it made her the third female winner this season. We've had a different winner every round, so that was really exciting. And again, we can look forward to 2021 being an incredible race season from the girls. It's going to be awesome. Um, some interesting facts from the Finale Ligure round. Um, we've got Morgan Shah's first victory. Uh, Antoine Vidal was sixth down his first elite men's EWS stage. Um, and that first stage was referred to by Martin Mays as a proper injury stage. So great racing from Antoine in his first visit there. Um, Estelle Charles lands her first uh, podium in twi as, uh, 23 years old. Uh, great riding from her and she was very emotional at the finish there. Um, it all got on top of her because she was really, really stoked to take that podium. It was great to see. Um, again, like I said, three different winners um, in the women's, all French, um, but in the top 10, only three French men this time. So not so much dominance in the male field. Um, Jack Moyer and Jesse Melamed are the only riders to finish in the top 10 across the three rounds that we've had this year. Um, so again, showing just how hard it is to say, stay consistent um, in EWS when riders of that caliber are just trying to scrape their way into the top 10 on when it's not going their way. Um, Martin Mays was 10th despite having stitches in his knees and in his wrist um, and these are not the tracks at Finale Ligure to be racing down with stitches in your body uh, but he did a great job managing to get 10th so that was great riding from him. Um, Charles Murray is definitely a man that people will be looking to sign uh, up for next year because he's taken uh, after winning the Trans New Zealand in Enduro, uh, absolutely smashing that race, winning every stage. He's come over to the international races and he's put together a fantastic uh, race straight away, sixth place at Finale Ligure. So that is a great result for him. Um, Pivot Racing take the title overall for the 2020 season. Um, and lastly, Flo Nikolai uh, finished every single stage of this race. And that means that he's finished every single stage of every stage single EWS race ever, which is absolutely incredible. Um, congratulations to him. Fantastic racing. Make sure you catch up with what's been happening on the EWS series this year on GMBN, of course. You can see our race highlight show from Finale Ligure, which is awesome. Next up, new bike action here, the Propane Spin Drift. This is a very cool looking free ride machine, uh, 180 mil of travel. It's now got the shock within the frame, like the Enduro bike from uh, Propane. It's very cool, it can be 29er, you can run it mixed, or 27.5. Uh, it also comes in aluminium or carbon, full setup. Uh, it's a very handsome looking bike, very clean look. We like this one a lot. 
What about this? A snowy world championships, perhaps. We've got the snow arriving, um, and you can see here, Brooke McDonald um, and also Loic Bruni playing in the snow, um, and they're in the area where they're gonna be racing. So it's gonna be very interesting. We might have a snowy downhill world championships. That's happening on the October on 10th and 11th. So let's see, will we have our first ever snowy world championships in downhill racing? That's not been seen before. Um, lastly, head over to the GMBN shop where we have got all new colours of our core t-shirts. Now these are very, very popular t-shirts um, on our store. So head over there if you want to get your hands on one of these. Um, some wicked new colours and I can't wait to get mine. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so great way to support the channel. Right, that's it for news. Let's get on with the show. The bike or a two-wheeled vehicle has been around for around 200 years, which is pretty insane. And it's a very interesting story from its very first beginnings to what we know now as an incredible mountain bike full of technology. So let's take a trip back through the past and see how it all come to be what it is today. So the first confirmed two-wheel steerable transport was created by someone called Carl Drace in 1818. Now, it was a very simple bike, no place for your feet, no pedals, and it was called the Laufs machine, or running machine, and that name pretty much described what was going on. In fact, that first bike was pretty much a balance bike. Jumping forward 40 years to Paris, 1860, and two men, Pierre Michaud and Pierre Lament, they have come up with the idea of creating a crank system and pedals and attaching it to the front wheel to give the bike some drive. Suddenly, we're making some really cool progress. This was the Velocipede, and it was a revelation. It was made of raw iron, it had wooden wheels, and it had iron tires uh, and it was nicknamed the bone shaker for its <coughs> supple ride eventually these bikes were made of iron but had solid rubber tires which surely helped them gain traction in popularity. Uh, these bikes developed from the Velocipede into the penny farthing that we recognize today that was capable of much higher speeds and could cover greater distances. Now in the late 1880s there was a huge leap in evolution from the Velocipede when the safety bicycle was born. Now this was a much more recognisable design. The crank was in the centre of a recognisable frame. There was a chain going to the rear wheel which was propelling the bike forwards. It looked like our modern bicycle. Uh, and it was called the safety bicycle to differentiate it from the penny farthings which I can only guess even at the time were not seen as safe. But the next step was taken by John Boyd Dunlop, who is a Scotsman, and he invented the first practical pneumatic tyre. So now, the safety bicycle was something that could work for everyone. It had grip, it had more control, it had punctures. Over in the US, not long after that, there was an infantry in America called the Buffalo Soldiers, and they traveled 1,900 miles across many states, trying to work out if the bicycle was a viable form of travel in modern warfare. From there we move on into basically a hundred years of incredible evolution for the bicycle. In 1928 Oscar Egg invented the derailleur and that meant gears and suddenly there was racing and all sorts of experimentation to see what could be done on bikes. In the 1970s, the repack crew over in Marin County started discovering how much fun it was to blast down dusty hills on bicycles. And the sport of mountain biking as we know it, so people say, started right there. The gradual changes became more rapid and the development in frame design leapt forward. 
We had Specialized designing an off-road tyre, and we had people like Tom Ritchie and Gary Fisher and Joe Breeze and Charlie Kelly creating what we know as mountain bikes. And manufacturers got involved, bringing technology from off-road motorcycling, RockShox suspension and Manitou. We had disc brakes from Hope and Formula. Suddenly, the riding blossomed. We had cross-country racing and downhill World Cups, dual slalom and four-cross marathon riding, stage races, trials. Mountain biking has become such a rich soup of incredible sport that we all love. But when you think back to those early bikes and where they came from, what was possible on those bikes. It would be interesting to take someone from today and throw them back to the dandy horse and see what they could do with it. I mean, who would do that? Who would ride a bike like that? <laughs> ah, mine. Do you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to ride it. Yes, man, this bike looks nuts. So this is a video you've just made. I've just, I've just filmed this and I thought, you know what? I need to build an adult balance bike. But it's like the re recreation, recreation of the first mountain bike. Yeah, absolutely. It's the Lauf's machine yes. right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, or, or maybe, maybe I guess the Velocipede. But yeah. it's it's all there, um, and you tested it out. It's coming up this week. But here's another little sneak peek. Go. Oh. Looks. <laughs> it's it's yeah. it's, uh, it's terrible. I think that goes in the bike bin, Mark. <laughs> Can that go yeah, in the bike yeah. bin? Yeah, well, it may do. Um, and speaking of such, it is time for this week's bike bin. Bike bin. Now, remember, this is a new section in the show where we want to see your broken bikes. Now, I want to make it clear. This is not about warranty issues. I believe that all the manufacturers out there are trying to make the best bikes possible. But sometimes... Things just happen so badly that not even the bike could survive okay. it. And that's what the bike bin's all about. Let's see those just disastrous moments and try and make some kind of light out of them. And this week, we're going to do just that because along with Blake's balance bike, <laughs> we're putting in Fritz's Trek. Actually, it's his godson's bike. Look at this, Look Blake. At oh, my God. It looks like Look he's at hit it. a tree or done something really crazy. <sighs> it's, it's bad. Now, Fritz says that actually um, no harm was done. His his godson was only in hospital for two days. <laughs> I don't get it. So he's in hospital for two days, but no harm was done. So why was he it's just a rest day? Well, he just yeah, wanted to get out of school. Day. So some damage was done, let's face yeah. it, but thankfully everyone's all in one piece, shall we say. Shall we say. The bike's still in one piece, amazingly, but obviously it was a, a huge crash. Bit um, look at look how those parts of the frame are just oh folded over. Me. But oh, you see, it's such a shame. That goes to show that the R&D that goes into such work to build such bikes, to stop them from snapping on impact, like if yeah. that snapped, it yeah. would have been critical. Yeah, I mean, it's it's an unbelievable shun, mm. that one. It's, it's, it looks like it's been ridden into the back of a bus. Yeah. Um, but I guess even though it is a beautiful trek and it's got one of my favourite colourways on it, which is uh, a real shame, it's going to have to go in the bike bin, I'm afraid. Uh, so trashed. in it in it goes. Sorry about that. Yeah. Shame, right. There we go, another bike in the bike bin. If you've got a terrible snappage, breakage, crackage that you'd like to show us that just could not be avoided despite all of our favorite manufacturers' efforts to make these things indestructible, send it in to our uploader. There's a bike bin there. You can put your bike in. It might be cathartic, you never know. And uh, we will take a look at it next week. Um, right, Blake, you know what time it is, don't you? Mine, ready for it. Hacks and budges! Hacks and budges! Hacks and budges! He's still going. 
madness, isn't it? Madness. But it's a madness. It is, you know, mm. Axel Rogers is yeah. madness. <laughs> Look at it this. Is. Should we dive in? Yeah. Look straight into it. Up, uh, what you got, Blake? Why this, this is coming from Keith. Now look at this. This is a coffee table. Oh, he's amazing. Put disc rotors in there. I think it's like epoxy resin in. It. Yeah, yeah. He's put that. He's put the discs on a uh, platform, and then he's poured epoxy resin over that it. Is he good. said the first attempt didn't go very well, but this is the second attempt. Um, so he's got Hope in there, Avid, SRAM, all sorts of bits. Uh, um, all on a bit of Russian birch plywood top. That is, that is really cool, isn't it? That is cool, Mark. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like it. Um, Very like mosaic. If you move your head <laughs> next, like round, the disc look like they're spinning. <laughs> You're an idiot. Uh, next up, we have got Williams, um, Oh, this is clever. Look at this. This is handlebar extensions. Oh, no way. Oh, amazing. Look at that. that is that safe? Is I, that safe, I Blake? Don't, I don't know, Mark. A anything oh, with leverage sure. on the end with the joints. Don't know. But it looks like it. But I guess you've not got your whole body weight out on those outer parts of the bars no. all the time. So maybe the insert looks like it goes in a sort of like equal length to the extension itself yeah. so maybe it's enough I, um I think it's 40 good. mils 40 mil extension and a 40 mil on the inside of the bar um that's a clever idea it's like clever that. it is clever. neatly done and i guess once you've got your old lock on grip on top you'd never know the difference you wouldn't no amazing yeah. good hack that good hack if it's safe I'm not recommending it but if it's safe uh, next up, My, up again. Look at this one. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> Did he just know what I was building, or I knew what he was? Look at that. That is woodwork at its best. That is unreal, isn't it? Okay, so let's let's tell the story here. This is from Salvador, and it is a per it's, it's his photo, but the bike is Jennifer Cabayas. Um, uh, bike. It's built in the Philippines. Yeah. Um, and Jan Jennifer couldn't afford uh, a new bike, and he's built up this basically wooden frame so he could have his own bike to ride around on. <laughs> um, it's it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it looks it looks it just goes to show that even though we've come so far in the history of the bicycle, you can actually step back and use similar materials yeah. and be in a very similar place. It's, and it looks like he's using a rear wheel from a motorcycle or a scooter. Yeah, it looks like it's got a hub mo hub motor in there, yeah. it looks like. Yeah, I mean, it's a... I mean, it's got to be this week's winner, oh, isn't 100%. it? hundred <laughs> percent. I mean, that is this week's winner. We are going to be sending Salvador a GMBN race top. Well done, Salvador. If you could pass it on to Jennifer for us. Um, oh, you know what? Tell you what, let's send Salvador two GMBN race I tops. like it, Martin. One for Salvador and one for Jennifer. They can uh, go around town admiring each other's race tops and looking proper cool. Two different <laughs> colours. Two different colours. <laughs> ah, love it. I love hacks and bodges. It's so good. So good. Very, very nice. Um, if you've got a hack or a bodge to send in, make sure you go over to the uploader and get on it. Um, it's a great way of getting on the show, and the show's really nothing without you guys, so thanks for sending stuff in. Now, Blake, we've got lots coming up on the show. We've still got the bike vault and the caption contest. We're going to be doing a little bit of a what happened next. Oh, I like that. And we've got a fail and sales smash up coming uh, a little bit later. <laughs> Caption contest, bingers. You were the star of our photo oh. last week. Oh. Look at this okay. image of you. Oh, look at that. Yeah. In the what dark. What are you doing? That was Out a, on your night ride. That was a night ride with Brendan and his and his friends and his brother. It was good. Oh man, get you hanging out with all the cool people. Oh, yeah. And get and get Brendan hanging out with a cool person. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oh <laughs> uh, 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 well, I've got some good caption stories. You can decide if you like these. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, first one is from Noisy Boy, and he says uh, the Blake Witch Project. Oh no, that's a good one, Blake Witch. Like, yeah, it does look a bit. It does look a bit Blair Witchy, yeah. doesn't it? That? Yeah, 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 yeah. What else we got? We got Pedro M. He says, "I told you, boys, Henry was finished." <laughs> oh no, you didn't bury. You haven't. Oh, Blake, what have you done? I haven't done anything, Martin. What stage? <laughs> I, I haven't done. I haven't done anything. Ah, oh, shame. Henry's leaving. It is shame. a shame. I like that dude. It's nice. Yeah, gutted. Um, yeah. 
Uh, right, other co uh, caption we've got from Curtis Fr, and he says, "I know it's dark, Blake, but one last go, it'd be fine." <laughs> <laughs> that that's the look you give words. someone. <laughs> if someone says one last go, that's the face you give them. Yeah, that's it. You're like, yeah, mm, yeah. uh huh, mm, mm. yeah. Not sure. Um, who are you giving the winner to? The um, GMBN flask. Who are you giving it to? Oh, Mark, they're all. Do you know what? I'm gonna go with the first one. Noisy boy. Noisy boy. Blake Witch Project. <laughs> He is a winner. You get yourself uh, one nice. of these. They're gone. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, this week, we're not going to do a caption contest. We're going to do a what happened next oh, to man. this piece of footage. Now, uh, this little bit of riding going on in a skate park mm -hmm. is not going to end well. I'm going to hold it there. Yeah. Blake, what do you think happened next? Uh, he totally went over the bars. No, I want to see in the captions down below, comments down below, uh, your idea of what happened next or what didn't happen oh, next. Mine. Okay, let me play it one more time and stop it there. Ooh. What happened next, everybody? Let me know in the comment section down below. A case. <laughs> a case. He's yeah, maybe, maybe. He's going to need a lawyer, I reckon, Mark. He's going to need a lawyer. Right, Bingers, it's time to get into the bike vault. Oh, Are you ready for that? Yes, you, ready for, you ready for some bike vault? Yes. Good, good belly. <sighs> I thought you were going to say something else, Martin. Good bellage, bingers. Um, right, first bike in the bike vault this week. Oh, what do you think? Well, I, I think it's nice, but I know what you're going to scream out. I'm shaking my hand, I can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> Done. That is a super nice Cannondale. There is no other kind, but it's from Andrew in Ohio, uh, out for a ride and took this at the top of the locals. Um, That's nice. Yeah. Nice. I love that it's got the head shock on it. That's always been one of my favourite little uh, yeah. technical it designs cool. from it's, Cannondale. We said that crazy man with a long co cone head guy. Yeah, that's head, sh head, head shock Larry. Ah. Uh, it's a really cool bike. What is it? It's an F600. I like, I'm not sure about the colourway actually. I've not. I never. I didn't love the green era of Cannondale. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, I saw it as a low point. Um, it's nice. Oh, you've shaked it. It's, it's nice. No, but it's super nice. Yeah. Let's move on <laughs> to... Oh, oh, look at this. No, I, do, I'm, I'm super nicing that. I had an orange missile. But oh, it was the, it was the deep purple bluey colour. Mm, so good. Yeah, that is so really, good. Such a this nice is frame. Chunky. Yeah, this is Peter's one. Um, Ah, oh, so nice. They also did a trials bike using a very similar design called the Orange Zero. I remember uh, that, yeah. which was Which was fantastic. I had one um, for a little while, rode it as a trials bike. That's nice. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Um, it's fantastic brand. He's modern, fantastic yeah, he's modernised it. Drop a post mm. on there. Still running. Oh, yeah. Still running two, three by, three by. Lovely, lovely. It's Rock Shop, nice, man. Judy's. Yeah. Super nice. Super nice. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Um, next up, we've Ooh. got a giant talon from Bruce. Uh, this is quite a cool hardtail. It is like nice. It. Yeah. Um, he's back after riding from uh, back to riding after twenty years. Oh wow! Getting out on the bike. Uh, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's I nice. like it. I like. I like the matching pedals. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's nice. nice. Wow. Oh wow! What Look at earth. that. This is a Chumba F5. It's oh, yeah. from Don't Jarrett. I've seen one of those before in on this, the bike vault. Yeah, this is in, check this out, Bingers. Blue Knob, Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> it would be when it's that cold up there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's a super nice! It is a super nice. It's a super nice. <laughs> oh, man. Look, Next up, up, wow. Look at this thing. Oh. Look at this. It's this is Peter's that. Gorilla Gravity Mega Trail. Do you, I think that's a South African brand. Oh, look at that's that. It's from Johannesburg, thing. South Africa. Yeah, what? Uh, to me, I don't know if it's the photo. It, it sort of looks 
Is it a 26 or is it with modern geometry or is it really massive? I can't work out. The distance between the down tube and the front wheel looks big. Yeah. Something, something's off on it. Maybe it's I can't a work out. fish eye effect on it. Something like that. I that mean, is crazy head, head tube on there. Yeah, it's big chunky head tube. Yeah. It's very different. It's very different. Yeah. Nice. I like I like it. You like it? It's I nice. Like it. it looks like brand new. You still got this orange Shimano mm. tag on this front disc there. Yeah. This yeah. Oh well well noticed. Yeah. Well noticed. Um, That's a freshie. I like it. It's nice. It's nice. It was nice. Nice. It's nice. Uh right, next up. Ooh, oh, come a on. Yeti Oof, Martin. Yeah. Look at this. With Oof. with a put is that a push shock as well? That is oh, man, that is that's legit. Cool. That is Bradley's 2020 Yeti SB150 oh equipped with the Fox 38 yeah, plush, and Push 11. Push, six. that's it, sorry. Push. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, super nice. This is in the Laguna Wilderness. Uh, super nice, Mark. Ring it all day long it's, for that. It's baby. got SRAM E tap on there, it's like wireless, everything. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Man. That is beautiful. Ridiculous. Uh, next up, we've got Aaron's Cross oh. Dust. This is in Finland. Um, I like this a lot. I like that a Ooh. lot. I love the colour. Yeah. I love the yeah. tan walls. It's Blake colour. It's Blake colour. Yeah. Uh, what are we going to give that? Ah. Tan walls. I mean, tan walls is, tan walls is you know, for me. It's, oh, I mm. love tan walls. You need the tan grips if you've got tan walls. That's just, what about, I think that what should about be a rule. tanned arms? <laughs> That's a nice. Oh, I'm going super That's nice. not. Hey. It's a super nice. Oh, oh it... we're out. Oh, we're out of the way. We are. No. Out of the bike vault, Bingers. We're out of the bike vault. Oh, man. I was um, really enjoying that. That was a good bike vault. Yeah, it was. I won't lie. I did enjoy that. And uh, we basically crept our way nearly to the end of the show. But before we go, Blake, I want to say thank you for you turning up in the dirt shed and making sure our lovely set is still on display. I appreciate it. I'm still over here isolating. Yeah. Would love to see um, you come in, Martin. Soon, well, one day. It's coming. There. I can feel it. Um, if I, I, you know, hopefully soon. We'll see. Uh, you guys out there, thanks for watching. Thanks for sending your stuff in. Remember, the show's nothing without you guys, so make sure you send stuff in to our uploader. We love seeing that. If you've enjoyed the show, give us a love, like, and share. But to finish today, let's go out on a fail and send medley smash up <laughs> and see what you guys have been doing out there. But until next time, it's goodbye from me. And myself. See you next time. Bye-bye. Don't kill me. Oh!